Well, I've installed all but the last tread and riser, and I need the landing newel in place before I can do those. I thought it might make more sense to come down and take a look at this newel first, though. As you can see, I've cut a notch in the bottom of this newel and also a notch in the corner of this tread. This way, the newel will fit over this corner and make for a really sturdy installation. Whenever possible, I like to let the newel through the subfloor down into the floor framing. This will help make an extra sturdy installation. Of course, the size of these notches will have to be made for your stairway, but just remember the center line of the balustrade must line up with the center line of the newel, and here that is centered over the skirt board. I've made this newel post by gluing two boards together. That should help keep it from twisting in the future. I've chamfered all the corners and also put a bevel up here at the top. <clears throat> That's good and snug. Now, I've made the counter bores straight so my plugs will still fit, but I'm putting the lag bolt in at an angle so I can catch some, some of the wood inside the carriage. That'll give those threads something to bite into. There, that's tight. That's close enough, and the side looks pretty good too. Solid. Well, I've beveled the top and chamfered the edges of this post, just like on the other one. I've also put a piece of sheetrock in place. Now these notches may look complicated, but I believe if you take it one notch at a time and do your layout in place, you won't have any problems. I'm going to slide this over into its final position. You can see the center line of our newel post has lined up with the center of our skirt board. The same is true on this side. Now if I was putting this finished skirt board in, I'd also have to mortise a housing for it. Now, I don't have to put my lags in from the front on this post. I've already drilled my holes. All I have to do is install them from the back, and then I can finish the tread and the riser. Well, that seats our last tread and riser. All that's left is this piece of transition tread. It's full thickness in the front, and I've cut it down to 3 quarters of an inch in the back. I've put a groove in it to mate with the tongue from the flooring. It goes in place just like a regular tread. I'll just screw that down and it'll be 